Hello, what's up? How's it going? Today is day two of painting old Japanese cars. Today's focus is going to be the Honda. And I believe at the end of this video, we're hoping to have the trunk lid, the hood, and the spoiler, just the trunk lid and the hood yeah. painted. So the goal is two coats of primer, maybe three if it takes three, we'll, we'll see, and then three coats of, of paint. First, we need to move the GTR. Same thing. <laughs> okay, so I think we're basically ready. We've got an intake fan over here. We're gonna have two fans here to blow air out. It's by no means perfect, but it's better than nothing. Hang a panel somewhere on that wall. Now we need to go finish sanding it. We hit it with 80 grit yesterday, so we need to hit it with 120 today, and then wax and grease remover, and then we're good to go. Let's do that. Turns out we don't have any 120 grit. We have 220, but that's okay. Smooth is better. You know what I keep thinking? We're like doing this the right way. And a lot it, of people... It feels like we're doing it the right way. I'm still, I'm not putting any money anywhere until I see the end result. How could we fail? We're too good to fail. We said that in another video and then we failed. So let's stay away from things like that. Oh. It smells just like banana Laffy Taffy. Is that, is that a good thing? Is that, is that a pro of this stuff or is that a con of banana Laffy Taffy? I'm gonna say the both. Oh my God, Ryan. Rub your glove, your glove. Rub! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Rub a dub dub, Steven, you can do it. Rub my dirty, greasy glove on there. So you want me to get a new glove? Give me a This is inappropriate. Stop it. <laughs> I caught it in time. Oh god damn it. New plan. Can we just clear clear coat it like this? The DeLorean pr prelude? Yeah, we need to get those fans going ASAP because we're not thinking very well. Time for a good old fashioned mid-project supply run. Well, we're in the Lexus and I thought about taking the helm and steering the boat. But, but then I realized that your timing chain has double the amount of miles on it that oh. it should, and I'm not driving it until that gets fixed. So luckily, Junction City has an all-night paint supply store. Luckily, yeah. So we can get everything we need. Salsa, huh? Yeah. This way Sam won't kick us out of her house. Oh. We can finish the project. Bribery! Is that fine enough of a measurement, do you think? The glass ones are on sale. So cheaper than the plastic. Oh, cool. Oh! Whoa! This is... Concentrated Sharpie. <laughs> if exposed to get matter... Ooh, I can smell it from here. Don't trip over that diff. Someone left a bunch of greasy GTR parts lying around. Oh god, that is strong. Oh, 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 hold on. So that was just sitting on the dirty cardboard. I would like wipe that off somehow before you dunk it into the clean paint. When this video makes it to the live day, someone is going to have a fucking connection. 
Are we done outside? Because bugs come in every time yeah, the door's open. That's so thick. Oh, you know. We forgot to change the tip in the gun. So it's, probably, it's like 9 o'clock and we haven't even painted anything yet. This is the hardener? Okay. Two to one, maybe. You don't want stone effect in your paint? Not if we can help it. That ends to what it looks like. That looks way better already, doesn't it? Are we uh, going straight into shooting paint? No, I think what we're gonna do is uh, put one more coat of primer on this so it's nice and thick, let it flash, take it down, and then if we want to keep going tonight, we can paint the truck with it. I, I have a feeling I fucked it up on the first pass, and then no matter what we did, it wasn't gonna come out good. The color is great. Everything but the orange peel looks great. The counterclockwise is more paint. I turned the knob the wrong way. So that whole process was wrong? Not wrong, just you have to fine tune it and find where the spot is that, it makes, that it works the most. Yeah. <laughs> Come along as we learn how to paint <laughs> stuff. So far, I think it needs thin. Thinned out. My number one thing I'm thinking right now is that there's a lot of bugs in that paint. Oh, is there? Oh yeah. I also think I don't know because I want it to dry and I want us to sand it and see how it how that turns out. I think we just need more practice with the gun. It's hard to use. Well, man, we're in the worst possible conditions. And then also, my learning experience was painting white onto white. Yeah. That went well. We learned a lot of lessons. We know many things that we did wrong. We didn't give ourselves enough time. We didn't filter the paint. The garage was filthy. The garage was filthy and we had, didn't filter the air coming into it. There's lots of bugs in your paint. Oh yeah, the paint's full of bugs and dirt and crap. Theoretically, we didn't wait long enough between coats. Because it was too cold. The dry times were for 70 degree temperatures, not 50 degree temperatures. But they look pretty good. I mean, realistically, we could clear coat those and slap them on the car and I would not be disappointed. I mean, honestly, if you put like the racing livery decals and stuff on it just that... matter. On that white primer, yeah. just like that, God, it would look so good. Orange peeled like that? Oh, yeah. Who cares? Who gives it? Because it's gives never going to get washed. It's going to wash like once every six weeks. I think... You two are painting your cars with the same process, kind of, and the same materials. But Steven is doing it down and dirty because the Prelude isn't, you know, a really high-end race car build. And John's trying to do as good as he can do with the same materials and process. So what I'm hoping happens is the primer is designed to be sanded. Sanded down, she smoothens out, and she looks great. It, it could have gone a lot worse. Absolutely. There could be big bugs in it. <laughs> Luckily, there's only yeah, small there's no bugs. Bees. At the end of this, if we are a five in quality, I walk away a happy man. And, and he I, walks away very sad. It's true. Moral of the story, 
we're good to go. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it happen. And I need to go to bed. I mean, it'll, it'll, well, yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's how I feel. It's good. We're good.